this point in the season, it's still a little early season. So obviously doing a lot of cross training, trying to stay in shape, running a lot, biking, lifting. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to come down to New Zealand and kind of have you know three weeks of where you can just come and make sure you still have all your stuff together on your skis. Um, I guess this year in New Zealand, the weather has been pretty crappy. Tanner came out like two weeks before me. He said it was pretty crappy weather the whole time. I showed up, it got sunny for like five days, and then um, Riley, the guy behind the camera, came, and we haven't really gotten any good days since he's been here. And uh, on our sunny day, the only sunny day Riley's had so far here, we were at the pipe, and I walk, I stroll in with my camera, say what's up to the boys, Tanner's hiking the pipe, Sean's hiking the pipe. I show up a little bit late, I see Tanner land a double while I was sitting on the lift, I saw Justin Dory land a double while I was sitting on the lift, I was like, holy crap, I'm missing such a sick day. Everybody is just going so nuts. I'm setting up being like, this is the most epic day I've ever seen in half pipe. Dumont starts getting ready, starts training, like getting his five ready to, to try his double. I start throwing some fives. Started seeing the double in my head. It didn't look too hard. And um, I just said, screw it. Really had no idea I was going to do it till I was in the flat bottom and then just went for it. Dumont's like, OK, it's, it's on. I'm like filming him, getting ready. And he comes in, sets his first one, pops a little too hard, lands pretty deep. But I'm like, oh, dude, he's totally got it. First one's always a tough one to get out of the way. Tanner does a couple more. Tanner does one, crashes so bad, nails his head. He's all dazed and confused in the bottom. He just called it from there. And then right behind him, Dumont comes charging in, like way too damn fast. And went in, went to go for it again. Big hole in the pipe. Caught my ski, pushed me off the wall pushes him so high up and he just opens up. He does one flip, opens up in the second one, like 15 feet up, tries to save himself and just lands directly on the bottom, on the middle of his back. And I just jumped in and holding his head. We thought, his, oh, we just thought terrible stuff. I knew I was going dead flat and, um, you know, kind of ate crap, but part of the learning process. When it comes down to training and you tell yourself, um, that there's certain things you have to do that you've never done before and maybe you don't take the right steps into um, trying to do this maneuver, then some bad stuff can happen. And with stuff like we saw with Simon, I know he's never done that trick. That was the first time, first and second time he's ever done it. So you just kind of always hope in the back of your mind that that person knows how to bring themselves out of a sketchy situation. There's no other way to push the sport than to go above and beyond and be a little bit crazy. We just have to make sure that we do the right steps and the right things to make sure that we're doing it as safe as possible. Everything we do is, is risky, obviously. That's also a reason why we love to do it because there are risks that we take that give us Whatever that feeling is that makes us want to keep doing it, adrenaline or just the fact that you know something could happen but you're going to walk away that day and go skiing and have fun and get some sick shots. And ended up just being some bruises, had to take some time off. I think I took a day or two off but just went to the gym, rode a bike, tried to stay loose and yeah, now I'm back in the game, ready to keep going. I had a couple goals when I came down here. I wanted to learn a switch 10, get a grab with a right 9 and I wanted to do a double in the pipe. So I did all those in the first week, so it's good to get that out of the way and then end up sliding some rails, learning some stuff. Hopefully I um, can pick up my rail game a little bit and then got some jumping in. Watch these guys throw a bunch of doubles, help me to um, you know, realize the possibilities, open my eyes a little bit to um, everything that's possible out there. I know everything hasn't been quite right with me, but I can assure you now very confidently that it's going to be all right again.